Here we have a 20 plate Mercedes Benz GLC 220D for Matic AMG line. Now, this vehicle comes with the 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all of which in excellent condition and unmarked. We do also have the grey exterior paintwork, we have the LED headlights, Pan America front grille, and the black Mercedes badge in the centre. And there's a look at that front end. Now coming round to the passenger side, you'll find the second alloy wheel, again in excellent condition, and just down there. Taking a step back, you'll also find the side steps along the bottom, making it easier to get in and out of the vehicle. Colour-coded door handles and door mirrors, black trim around the windows, and the privacy glass at the rear. We've got the roof rails up top, along with the gloss black rear spoiler, which sits nice and aggressively. We also have the front and rear parking sensors, with a rear reversing camera. Coming around to the rear, and you'll find the rear diffuser. We also have the power operated tailgate. If we press the button here on the remote, then the boot will open it just like so. Inside of here, you can see we have plenty of space. We do also have the parcel shelf at the top. We have the storage net on the left and hooks as well either side. Coming back out, we then have a handle on the left and also the right hand side, along with a button. Press the button, and the boot will close again like so. Making our way back round to the driver's side, you'll find the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now if we take a look then at the interior, inside of the back first, you'll find we have the half leather seats. We do have the foldable armrest in the centre and fixed ISO points as well back here. We then have the vents in the centre for the rear passengers, AMG floor mats, wooden effect trim on the doors, integrated speakers and also electric windows. Taking a look at the front, you'll find the same half leather seats. Apologies about the sunlight. Both front seats are being electrically adjustable and heated. As you can see just there, heat seat buttons on the doors. Electric mirrors, electric windows with child lock for the rear. Automatic lights down here. We then have the multifunctional steering wheel. Taking a seat inside, you'll find the dash dashboard in front of us. Put a foot on the brake, press the start button and the vehicle will start up. I'll just turn the volume down using the left side of the steering wheel. You've got the scroll button with the phone connectivity. You also have the paddle shifters either side of the steering wheel. Cruise control and speedometer on the right. Paddle shifter as well just there. Digital screen. If that is flickering, it's just the camera. It's not flickering in real life. It's nothing to worry about. You do have the trip computer. We have the digital speedometer. All these different features as well, which you can scroll through on the dashboard or by using this side of the steering wheel. We then have the main entertainment screen. Plenty of features on here you would have seen on the photos. If we go through them, we do have the sat nav. Buttons are down here, so click onto radio. You find the radio stations, media options, Bluetooth phone connectivity as well for phone calls. And then onto the main menu, we can scroll through all the other features just like so. We do have the apps, which has the app which has the internet browser. Further down, you then find we have the events. We also have dual zone climate control and the ice cold air conditioning. Inside of here, we have the cup holders with some storage space and a 12 volt connectivity. Touchpad just here for the infotainment screen. Along with the drive mode switch, you can see we have eco, comfort, sport, and also the individual drive mode as well. Putting the car into reverse, you find the reverse camera with the parking sensors appear on the screen. Back into park, and that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT, and free nationwide delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this Mercedes Benz GLC 220D Formatic AMG Line Premium. Now, the purpose of the video test drive is to show the vehicle that drives as you expect it to. As you can see, I'm allowed to fire the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line. Not being enough to left or to right hand side, staying straight and true. Now we're doing the multifunctional steering wheel, this has the paddle shifters on either side. So if you want to the car into manual mode, you can simply tap one of the paddles to change gear. We do also have the volume buttons here on the left hand side, along with the speed and the cruise control on the right. We've got the digital screen in the centre of the dashboard as well, which can show with different bits of information, but it's currently showing the digital speedometer. Now if you do listen carefully, throughout the video test drive, you'll also notice you'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. We also have plenty more features on the interior of the vehicle. We do have the half leather seats from the vehicle, which are really comfortable. You can easily do two, three, over 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. 
Both front seats are also electrically adjustable, again at start comfort level, and they're also at both heated as well, which is perfect for them cold winter mornings. Now we also have the main entertainment screen just here in the centre, which is currently shown the sat nav. Again, plenty more features on there you would have seen on the photos. For example, we do have the DAV radio, as you phone connectivity. We have the wooden effect trim, which runs all throughout the interior as well, really makes it a nice place to be. Controls on climate control at the front, we have the air squad air conditioning, which is perfect for them hot summer days. Of course, we do have the automatic gearbox as well, which is really smooth going through all the gears, along with having the different drive modes. Now in a moment, we are about to take a right-hand turn onto the industrial park, where I will perform an emergency stop and put the car into reverse, just to show that the brakes and also reverse camera works as they should do. So we've got our right indicator on, we slow it down, waiting for the cars to go past before we can make the right hand turn onto the industrial park now. And then I will perform a emergency stop in three, two, and one. Hold on to the brakes, put the car into reverse, reverse camera appears on the screen, back into drive with no issues whatsoever. Now if this video has answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions along with running for some inquiries of you. That's all for me today though. Cheers.